do you mean I think everything is about me? You're the one who can sit still. Bomba, Zawadi, chill. You know what? If it wasn't for me, you would not have won that stupid race of yours. Hey, Bomba, Zawadi, sit down and keep quiet. Or else, most sharp, most sharp. You know, I have a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a team of four magic superheroes. The four superheroes will go around destroying monsters and saving the world. They all thought that it would be okay because they were around and they were a team. Bomba and Zawadi were always competing though, and it made work a lot easier for Spex and Raha. Well, it's only because Bumba was the most important person. So says your face. Don't even get me started with your face. If I have to tell the two of you to pipe down one more time, I won't just be saying it. Oh boy, shall I continue? One day, after defeating a monster, Bumba began to brag that he was the only one the team needed, and without him, the team could do nothing. Zawadi, in anger, argued with Bumba, and soon they got into a fight, which Bumba eventually won. This made Bumba's ego grow even larger, and Bumba decided that he would not be needing the team anymore. Bumba announced that he was going solo, and walked away. Soon after, Bumba came across a big yellow bird, tearing up a city. This was definitely what Bumba would be looking for. Bumba got close and went invisible, then climbed a tree until he was at the monster's height. Then, he jumped on the monster's back, trying to wrestle it to the ground. The monster flung Bumba to the ground. Bumba tried and tried, again and again, but each time, the monster just flung him away. Soon, Zawadi, Raha and Spex showed up. Bumba saw them and left them to eat. Specs tried to convince Zawadi to listen and get Bumba back. The monster was all seeing. They might need someone invisible. Zawadi shook her head vehemently, sighing. Specs called them over and whispered a plan. Raha was getting into position when the monster sighted her and drew her aside. Zawadi was zipping this way and that, and the monster was getting angry. Feeling overconfident, Zawadi happily shouted out that they don't need Bumba. But as soon as she did, the monster grabbed Zawadi mid-stride and threw her against a tree. We really couldn't use Bumba. Wait and see. It's my story, right? Yes, after all, it was Zawadi who got caught. Only after Bumba failed. So where was I? Oh yeah, the monster. So Zawadi looked up and saw a hand. It was Bumba's, helping her up. She took it. Specs and Raha joined them. Specs smiled at Bumba, then drew his plan in the sand. Zawadi and Bumba looked at each other, and Zawadi dashed off. Bumba disappeared. Zawadi was zipping around the monster, but staying just out of its reach. Bumba kept throwing rocks at the monster from different angles. The monster was concentrating so much on the two that it didn't notice Raha climbing up a tree, getting closer and closer to its ear. Finally, Raha was in position, and she let out an earth-ripping scream into the monster's ear. The monster was startled and staggered for a while before crashing into the ground. Zawadi and Bumba wasted no time in tying the monster up. The team won in the end. Yeah, that was cool. Maybe, just a little bit, you did help us, Zawadi. Yeah, and you did take that last time pretty well yourself. Well, we won as a team.